Hello, everybody. It's uh, exercise 5.3 <coughs> in the unit 5. In the last lesson, you learned multiplication. Yes, the multiplication. You learned these questions 1, 2, 3. Addition and then multiplication. Today is the fourth question. Question number four. We're going to learn multiply by array array we use array to multiply numbers <clears throat> so last time you add different numbers like 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6 right but today we're gonna use array like from the beans and from the chocolate so here guys write a multiplication sentence what is multiplication sentence? Like 2 multiply 5 equal 10 for each array. So here are the arrays, the beans and the chocolate. So how to write the array? It's going to be so easy with pictures to understand the multiply. First, I'm going to use my pen. Let's do the first question, beans. Then we will do the chocolate. So let's look how many lines, how many beans, okay? So here is the first line, one, two, three, and four. How many lines? One, two, three, four. So in the each circle, we have four, five beans. So how many uh, circles? Four. I'm going to write here four. Then we are going to write multiplication sentence. So we must have a multiply. Now you have to know how many beans inside a one circle. This is the first circle, guys. In the first circle, how many beans? Let's count. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes? So same, we have five beans in the next circle, five beans in the third circle, and the fourth circle, we have five beans. All the circles have same five beans. So I'm going to write here five. I'm not going to write all the beans because I know all the beans, same, five. Then I will write equal. Now you have to count how many beans all together. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So we have 20 beans all together. Let's do the chocolate, how to make. <clears throat> so first we have to look the rows. Okay, look the rows. How many rows in the chocolate? Okay, so this is first, and so let's find out how many beans. Uh, sorry, how many chocolate in the first or in the row? Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, and six. So, how many boxes of chocolate in the row? So, we have six. We have six rows. Then multiply. Now, you have to look how many lines from the column. 
now we have to look for the column c o l u m n n column so we have one column and we have two columns this is all one column and this is all second column okay so <clears throat> so how many columns we have two columns then equal so let's make the how many all together how many the chunks of chocolate all together so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so we have six rows six rows and two columns make 12 chocolates i hope you understand guys array array mean we use the rows and columns to multiply it's easier than addition so you understand how to multiply now it's time to go for question number five now in this question it's the opposite in this question we don't have pictures we don't have pictures guys like uh, we don't have beans we don't have chocolates so we have to draw an array draw mean you have to draw any any object you can draw you can choose circles triangles flower cause any picture you like like a football whatever you can draw here to make the multiplication fact okay so first of all what is this two this is two is array okay sorry two is row two is what row row mean you have to draw something from left to right from left to right so let's do this so here i'm going to draw circles one and two so this is two rows two rows okay guys now what is the next this is column what is this column Column mean from top to bottom means you have to go like this. Okay, from top to bottom. So how many we have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm going to I drew eight circles. One, two, three, sorry, four, five, six seven and eight okay guys so here are the eight rows to column okay here are eight columns okay so two rows and eight columns two rows and eight columns 
how many circles all together? It's 16, okay? It's 16. When you add them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. It means our array is perfect for array. So in this way, you can make array with any object, any object you can draw. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a good day.